seen this office? I mean, are you kidding me right now, Jake? It looks like a gas station bathroom. And by the way, you're not looking so hot yourself. I mean, I didn't want to say anything before, but have you even looked in a mirror lately? I mean, you might be wondering what's going on here. Good question. That's my Aunt Martha Cherry in 1986 with her one and only hit, Like Her Love. Pretty hot, huh? Wrong. Like Her Love was cool for a month, and after that, the song was just embarrassing. Didn't help that the Like Her Company bought the song. Hey, Jake, I saw your aunt in that legging commercial. Yeah, girly, my one wear pink socks. Right with those purple leggings. You're gay like Elton John. Actually, I took that last comment as a compliment. I mean, Elton John rocks. Then there was Aunt Martha's behavior. You little bitty Jakey. You know I'm a star. You got musical talent from me. It got worse. <laughs> Today, school is stupid. I know you're all going off to Ivy League or some bullcrap like that. But let's face it, you want to be pop stars like me, like a love. That was the last straw. After that, I severed all ties. I never went back for family reunions, Martha's birthday. In fact, I managed to avoid my aunt all through college, my first job, and all my promotions. I, I'm so well. Until one day. She died. <laughs> it was the reality TV demons that killed her. She was so humiliated by Hitzellas. She went on that deathly bender. <laughs> and weird that uh, Keith Richards is still alive, right? Yeah, my mom and sister didn't appreciate that one. The real problem was when my uncle Dan stumbled in. My late wife. Martha wrote this at St. Vincent's before she died. <clears throat> As I pass through to the other side, I find I have one enormous wish to be fulfilled. And what is that, dear sister? That one of you dedicate yourselves to resurrecting the careers of those who basked in musical fame and fortune for a single lonely moment, like me. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but unlike me, that you bring them back to greatness during their life. The person to undertake such a mission is the person who I pass my estate and everything I own to. Poor sucker. <laughs> my nephew, Ruth's son, Jake. Jake. Huh? Now you might wonder why Aunt Martha picked me. Well, she probably figured I could make it happen. I work here at one of the few record labels still standing. The historic, the momentous, the one and only Babylon Records. I'm a record executive and there's no way I was about to flush my life away by resurrecting the dreams of one-time has-beens. Please, can someone say career suicide? Career suicide. You said it, MJ. Good thing old Martha was gone, so she'd never know. Hey, Jakey. <laughs> when are you opening my one-hit wonder division? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right, stop. I'll, I'll do it. I'll pitch your one time one hit wonder thing. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> yeah, so uh, revivals uh, bringing back, which is backwards, blasts. Kind of blasting off from the past, a little retro skateboard. Um, I like this, the psychedelic S. This is stupid. I, you know, I'm sorry, this is a bad idea. Just, I, I'm gonna, never, you know, this was, a, this was a stupid idea. <laughs> mm. I love it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, I had an uncle who was a one hit wonder once, Jake. Really? Oh. Uncle Hubie. Uh, Hubert Johnson is the public knew him. 
He was an original member of the band, The Contours. They had that hit back in 1962 with Do You Love Me? <laughs> I think, I think I, yeah, I think I know them. It was their only hit. Band broke up. Uncle Hubie blew his brains out. I was 11. So revival's a go. <laughs> really? Good. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Boo! See, Hubert was just like me. But that one hit wonder actually did kill himself. Your organs just failed, and now I'm stuck with this. All thanks to the big boss. <laughs> <sighs> Please, God, just let me get through this. Uh, hey, bro, you want to stop talking to yourself and get to work, please? Great having my sister here to motivate me. Thanks, Mary. Whatever, you've been ogling that Spice Girl all day. Oh, I love the Spice Girls. Rita, what are you doing? Uh, I was just fixing a collection of coffee. Oh, listening to crap, Pop? What? Hey, L Bozo. I'm gonna make your life a living hell. A living hell. Thanks, Carlton. Okay. Oh. Freaks. You might still be wondering what's going on here. <laughs> We're revivals. We resurrect the careers of one-hit wonders. Whoop-de-doo. Let's get busy.